It started with an Instagram story. Yo, what is going on, legends? Hope you are having the most beautiful day. We weren't sure what to do for our first video, so we let our followers decide for us. I took the submissions and wrote them down, sorting them into three categories. Challenges, locations, and twists. The result was a random combination of people's thoughts. Here's how it turned out. All right, let's... I'm a little bit nervous about this. Find Aussie wildlife. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I can where do we, that. Where are we doing this? Random place on map. Ooh. That's a good one. I like that. Okay. I got two. It's both. Two twists. Two on the, twists. On the first video. You gotta give me one. We'll both open it and we pick one. Okay. Why not? All right. <laughs> what did you get? What'd you get? I got shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> What's your one? Time limit. All right, we go with that. Shirtless. <laughs> and so we generated a random set of coordinates within 100 kilometers. And as you'd expect, it sent us to the middle of nowhere. It's currently 6 a.m. Getting ready to go to Jeremy's. I got this what I Yeah. Hmm. Made it. It's way too early. <laughs> I got a video of me sleeping and I'm like, I fell back asleep. <laughs> We arrived at the location, and with one hour to complete the challenge, we started the timer. There he is. You ready to do this? Let's do this. <laughs> uh... When Jeremy asked me to be a part of this YouTube video, I wasn't entirely sure, but I'm genuinely so glad that I did. I wanted to push myself outside of my comfort zone, and recently, and quite honestly, I've been struggling a lot with my own anxiety and insecurities, and this is a way for me to open up myself again into the unknown and honestly just give myself the chance to connect with the world in a completely different way than I have before. What's that look like if I do that? That actually works. Is it just too zoomed it, in? No, let's keep it centered. Cool, jump in. How are we doing, Jazz? Not good, my friend. We are 15 minutes in and we have seen nothing. Not a thing. But honestly, we were just thankful to be able to do this. After months of lockdown, it was so good to be out in nature again. And considering that this was just a random spot on a map, we really did get lucky. The scenery was incredible. Notice we have leeches all over us. You look like you're taking selfies of your balls right now. I am. He's getting too close to the junk, dude. Hopefully that's it for the leeches. I don't, I don't want to have any more leeches. I'm done with the leeches for today. Yeah. But fingers crossed on the way back, we'll find some, some animals. We found a human. Um, yeah, we found some old guy and he said that there is liar birds around here. So hopefully we can find a liar bird. Or maybe he was a liar man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's a lot of reasons why I wanted to do these videos. Uh, and maybe that's something I'll talk about in the future. But for now, I'm just glad that I finally stepped up and did it. And I'm thankful that I had Tay along for the journey as well. Truth be told, we didn't actually know each other very well before we did this video. So it's been nice changing that. And uh, I'm already excited for the next one. Did we just accidentally I get, didn't get it. wildlife? I didn't get it. You didn't get it? Nah. So as we ended that video, a bird flew in front of the camera and he just turned it off. Damn it. <laughs> it was literally as I went like that, it was angling down. Well, we know there's birds out here. I don't know where Tay went. It's there. Can you see it? That's it. Dude, that's, that's so close. close. That's so loud. It must be right here. Oh man. Oh. 
it's really so to far in. It's right there as well. I know, but we cannot get any further into that. No, that's just... That's it. that's it for us. Do we admit defeat? <sighs> and so we headed back to the car, empty-handed, but in high spirits. We might not have completed the challenge, but we came back feeling rejuvenated from our time in nature. Then, as we arrived back at the exact location that the coordinates sent us, everything changed. A bird appeared, out of nowhere. Then another. And another. In what felt like a frenzy, we got exactly what we came for, when we least expected it. I guess it just goes to show that you can't control everything, but if you're in the right place at the right time, good things can happen. Guys, thank you so much for watching our first video. We hope you liked it. Let us know in the comments what you think, what you want to see more of. If you like the three jar concept, should we do it again? Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Ew. Thank you so much for watching our first video. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Have a terrific day. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>